For my last performance, I have decided to read a children's book. Um, being that I'm going to school to be a teacher. Um, and I just want to be able to showcase a little bit of what I've learned through this class through interpretation. So today I will be reading to you with illustration a book by, I think it's Basimi Toyinata with illustrations from Samguyan Bangladesh created by Matt Williams who is a cunning linguist and this book is called <laughs> Brenda's Bieber Needs a Barber. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do this. <laughs> Brenda has a beaver, and she's ready to, to confess. As soft and sweet as it may be, her beaver is a mess. I can't. Brenda... Brenda's beaver is big. Brenda's beaver is hairy. Every guy who sees it says Brenda's beaver is scary. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Brenda took her beaver for a swim down at the lake, <laughs> but by the look she received, she figured it was a mistake. Because it's funny. <laughs> she stuffed... <laughs> <laughs> she stuffed that furry mound <laughs> into a suit. <laughs> <laughs> it stuck out all around. It was anything but cute. <laughs> Some who saw it laughed. Others were just stunned. <laughs> Brenda's beaver was hanging out, soaking up the sun. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Her friends could not believe her. They said, we need to talk. They covered up her beaver and they took her for a walk. Brenda, dear, listen here. We want to help you out. Your, your beaver needs a makeover. And it really needs it now. <laughs> Allison, I can't do this. Oh, God. I hope we don't seem too pushy, said her biker friend, Kim. Your, be your beaver is really too bushy, and we think it needs a trim. Savannah pulled her beaver back to show off what she had done. Hers has a nice landing patch. It looks like it'd be fun. Crispy. <laughs> Christy's beaver is quite rare. It could be worth a million. Her, hers is bare. It has no hair. Her beaver is Brazilian. <laughs> I don't think this should be a kid's book. <laughs> Catherine let her beaver loose. She said there's nothing to it. Grab some clippers and a can of mousse and we'll show you how to do it. <laughs> Kim produced some scissors and Chrissy had some wax. Now all that Brenda had to do was sit back and relax. As they came toward her beaver, they said, Now don't be scared. We're going to see what's underneath that frumpy pile of hair. <laughs> and ended, it ended in just minutes. They didn't leave her much. When Brenda's friends were finished, she and her beaver blushed. Her beaver was so tiny, <laughs> they could not believe their eyes. It was so smooth and shiny. 
<laughs> it was hard to recognize. <laughs> now Brenda is so proud. It seems like every time we see her, she's in the center of the crowd showing off her beaver. <laughs> the end. <laughs>